you understand, though, why Arsenal fans would prefer, say, if you spent 150 million, you buy three, what you call, oven ready, ready to go straight away into the first team, maybe with Premier League experience or certainly first team experience elsewhere, that will improve the team now. And as you know, right now, the team has not scored a goal, has not registered a single point, and sits rock bottom of the Premier League. I really understand that. But I just would like to then to understand as well the reason, the direction we go as a club. So, of course, it's hurt us to be in that situation. Of course, we know never going to see us there. We are hurt. I am hurt. I don't want to see the club there. But I, I want to see the, the team playing together. So to be fair, until now, we have a three games and I didn't see the team playing together yet. So I want to see the signings. I want to see the squad prepare. So all three games which we played against... Brentford, City, Chelsea and City, unfortunately we have some difficult moments in terms of COVID, injury, etc. So I want to see the, play, the team play together and then let's judge the team when they play together. I'd like to see Moise Mifro, I'd like to see uh, Mobu Kayosaka, I'd like to see Ben White with Gabriel, I'd like to see Tierney Moore, I'd like to see Tommy, I'd like to see that kind of team playing together and then after that no problem, let's judge us. But until now, um, I understand again, it's not excuse. I understand the situation, what we are now, is really, really tough. But let's judge the team when they play together. As you know, Mikel is under immense pressure yeah. right now. Also, your own yeah. job comes under yeah. uh, criticism. It comes in line yeah. as well. Yeah. The criticism of you is that you haven't done this job in Europe before. Uh, and you don't know the European market. What do you say to that criticism? And also, what and when would you be able to say is, uh, when will it be where you can be judged for what you've done, what your policy at the club? I respect all the pressure. I became from Corinthians and from Brazil international team, which is unbelievable press, pressure as here. And I understand the fans, I understand the reason and accept that. But we need a little bit of time to do what you plan to do. Uh, I'm not saying because I know this kind of word hurts a lot Arsenal's fun when you're talking about timing, patience, but it's the, the reality. So that's why when I say to you, we have to create a good foundation. To create a good foundation, you need a time. Because but you know you don't get time in football. I know, I know, I know, but that's why you make some kind of the decisions. Sometimes you have to make some decisions not to look in the future, we believe in our squad now, but we believe this squad can be even stronger in the future, not in the short period. I have to think about, my job is to think about short periods, but in the long period as well. How are we going to plan that kind of journey? Because if we now sign one or two players and we have a three, four, five gaps to fill, and then people are going to look to us and say, as well, guys, what are you doing? Because you spend a lot of money here and here. What about the other position for the future? So the balancing is not easy to get. But we, again, we believe what we're doing. Talking about my role, I understand the pressure. I understand the pressure of my Mikel board and the club because the situation which we are now is not acceptable. But listen, now is the moment to everybody being together and I'd like to see in this difficult moment people step forward and get the responsibility. I am responsible for what we're doing. Edu, it's been a very active transfer window for Arsenal. So what can you tell me about it and the thinking behind it? Because the truth is you may have spent the most money on players in the window at any Premier League club, but the Arsenal fans are Underwhelmed. Yes, I understand the reason. Because first, they didn't see the, the team yet playing together, isn't it? So that's the one of the reason as well. But I think you have to see the context a little bit bigger than just to see the, the money uh, around it. So um, we signed six players. Uh, six of the uh, six players was under, under 23 players, which for us uh, means a lot in terms of our planning. So, because normally people like to see just one window. So I have to see a little bit bigger picture because if you take like a year ago, 
So we start planning the squad a year ago in terms of, you know, to consolidate the team, to try to get better foundation. So if you remember, um, in that period of the years, so we renew Bukasaka, we renew Martinelli a year ago with the intention already to get that, that kind of the, the, the basement in the team. So in one year period, we signed 10 players, okay? And seven of 10 is under 23. We renew seven players in this period as well, just for teams, seven players. Why we did that? Because we have a reason to try again to create a good foundation. And then, then one day, maybe we're going to sign one or two players only. But after that, it's impossible to sign one or two players only because we have a lot to do. We have to balance the squad better. We, ho we have to um, recruit the players with the right characteristics, recruit the player with the right uh, profile to make the squad better, solid, and much more consistent because you suffer a lot of the, the last season in, in the consistent moment during the, the season, which now I want to give to Mikkel and to the board uh, a much better squad. Nobody has a 100% record in yeah. transfers. You, get, you try and get the majority right, some yeah. wrong. Yeah. On your watch, William, was that just a mistake that didn't work out? If, if, you, if you start to see the decision on William um, was to sign someone which experience, which a lot of Premier League games, and to impact the team straight away. If you see the first game against Fulham, which we play away, mm -hmm. and Remember. we started very well, and everybody say, wow. So now we have a, a proper team, and we from this game, we go through. But for the circumstances, a lot of different circumstances, um, the season from the squad and for the William as well was really inconsistent for everyone, to be fair. For if you see every single player, it was inconsistent, which now it wants to be more consistent. And then in the end of the season, I came to, do, to William, me and Mikkel say, how are you? Because I want you, I need you much more consistent. What's happening? No. And then he mentioned to us, um, he's not 100% comfortable. And when I listened that, and when Mikkel listened that, we make the decision to say, okay, we don't want a player here which is not 100% comfortable, is not 100% with the team. If not now, it's my business to try to find the best solution. If a mistake or not, it's harder to say, because we don't know what will happen if, you know, this, the, our, our season, we've been better. We've, we've been more consistent to everyone. So, but the most important thing is, we try what we tried, we plan what we planned, if it works or not, we have to find a solution. How was the solution? We found a solution.